are going to be vlogging every single day and then the upload will go up the next day. Um, so on our first day of Vloggist, Donna Louise is wearing a leotard because today, and she doesn't know this yet, it's a surprise. Today, Aish. you are going to spend a whole day doing gymnastics and trampolining. Wait, what? Are you serious? Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> Should we go, yeah? So we're just heading to Asda because at the moment Dawn Louise has got leggings on with her mm. leotard but it's actually quite hot now, the rain has stopped and the heat has come back up and there's lovely blue skies everywhere so I'm going to get her a pair of shorts to wear with, over her leotard instead um, just to give her a bit of modesty um, mm. <laughs> but yeah, do you, what do you think of your surprise? Shocking Yeah? Um, I was not expecting it I thought I'll do dancing but I like gymnastics because I do like cartwheels inside the house quietly. Yeah, she did used to do gymnastics lessons, but unfortunately because of her heart, as soon as the winter came around, it got too hot much for her, which is why I booked her in for this today. And here are some photos of Dawn Louise during her gymnastics competition last year when she was doing the lessons. I'll leave a link down below so that you can watch the vlog from this day. And the sky is beautifully blue. Yes. So we've already had the first fail of the day. I went in to buy shorts for Dawn Louise to wear over her leotard and it's a skirt. So yeah, instead of having just shorts, she's got shorts and a skirt. But um, hopefully it'll be okay for her still. So yeah, we're on to gymnastics and trampolining now. <laughs> hopefully that goes well. <laughs> Hi everybody, so I'm now back home and I'm just doing some work. Um, at the moment I've been home half an hour. I've been without Donny for half an hour and I swear to God I miss her so much already. It is so sad. I miss her so much. I want to go get her. <laughs> um, but no, she's going to be there till four. And I cannot wait to see her again and hear all about her day. And obviously let you guys hear all about it. But yeah, um, I'm going to insert now, which I know is a little bit strange, but I thought that maybe this would be good. I'm going to insert now the few couple of clips that we did get yesterday because they, they're not enough to go um, in a vlog by themselves. It wouldn't really make much sense. So we're going to journey back to yesterday. And then the next time you see us, it'll be when I'm picking the Dawny up and it'll kind of be like time has passed <laughs> instead of me being like oh I miss her and then she's back <laughs> so yeah enjoy what we got up to yesterday um Dawn Louise got a very special surprise so yeah I hope you're all having a, a lovely first of August I hope that it's sunny and happy wherever you are and what are you doing today comment down below we'd love to hear it and uh yeah we'll see you soon ready yeah close your um, eyes okay gotta find it first <laughs> okay it's in here somewhere <laughs> okay Yeah. Open it up. What? What is it? I don't know. You don't know what that is? Mm -mm. It's a leotard. What? It's a new one for your summer thing. So that, cause, cause it, like black is like the smart dance color, isn't it? And since it's got I a little- try it on. Yeah, we can try it on in a second. Hold on. Um, I've also got some black tights coming with you. Do you remember when you used to do summer schools and all the older girls would wear black, wouldn't they? Because it's professional. And I got one with sleeves because it's got a little bit colder. Oh, that feels really nice actually, doesn't it? It's nice and soft. Yeah? And you're gonna need to use it on Wednesday. <laughs> for your surprise. You're gonna need it for that. <laughs> It's not. Aww. Right, do you want to try it on, yeah? Uh, yeah! Ooh, welcome, baby. Give us a twirly. Oh, doesn't that look lovely? Should I do a cartwheel? Yeah, okay. Doesn't that look very smart? Look in the, in the mirror. We need to put your dance pants on with it, though, when you actually go to use it. Have a look in the mirror, tell me. If, doesn't that look smart and professional? Hey, my little dancer, Rooney. Do you like it? Short sleeves. Yeah, but at least then your arms are covered. Um, because you're gonna need your you're gonna need your arms covered for Wednesday. Um, and also it'll keep wrap. you warm. It'll keep you warm, won't it? What do you think? Do you like it? Nice. Guys, the most amazing thing just happened. I bought a new dress. You can kind of see it, but it has pockets. Oh my god! Look, I put your name on it. Can you say? Oh. Yeah. Whoa! Do you like it? 
can't. My head is blowing off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm actually so shocked. Do you like it? Stop. You're welcome. It's cool, right? It's technically like that. Yeah, when... but you can read it either way, can't you? And then people know that that's your bottle. And then you've got your things on the side so you know how much to drink. There's a tag on it. <clears throat> Read out loud. Super Dynamics. We hope this cake makes you feel like the teeny superheroes. We know you are welcome to the squad. TSH squad. What on earth? How did I know? Can you see? It says hope, courage, brave, tiny superhero. Brave is actually true because when I had my first surgery, I was terrified. But yeah, then you're when six I had days old, weren't you? When I was like, I had my second, third, and fourth, I was fine. So technically, that is right. Um, strong. Strength, I'm very strong. Love, love is important. Um, what else? <gasps> teeny superheroes, I'm super Tiny, not teeny, sweetie. Oh, tiny. Isn't this beautiful though? And it's also pink. Yeah, it's your two favorite colors. What? Wasn't it lovely of them to send you that to remind you that you're a superhero with your brave heart? I thought I'm not a superhero. You are. Do you want to wear it, yeah? I'm putting it on. Yeah, put it on and then see what else is in the bag. I'm keeping the little message. Yeah, it's a nice little message. If they're watching this, I'll be like, thanks. <laughs> but if they are... Oh, it came in this little... Tissue paper, yeah. Tissue. Right, see what else is in the bag. Is it something possible? Oh my God. Do you want me to read it? Or can you read it out loud? It says, welcome to the squad. Yeah, can welcome I have a look? the squad. The tiny superheroes. Can I have a look? Yeah. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Donnie, you can earn patches for your cape. Patches? Yeah. Mom? Yeah. Look. You can earn patches for the cape. You get, I get two cards. Hmm? Can I have a look? Oh, cool. And not just that, I get the... I think your um, message fell off, <gasps> but we can put it on the fridge. Oh my God, I get a sticker. <gasps> I can put that on my, I'm here. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna stay on there because it's fabric, isn't it? Sit down, because I can't see you. What's this say? God. Teeny, tiny superhero, superheroes. Be extraordinary. Are you gonna wear that? Yeah. To remind you to let's be brave see, and extraordinary all the time. Let's, let's see if it fits. I think it's a bit big. Yeah, it's alright, you'll grow into it. Hey guys, so it is finally time for me to leave and go collect Don Weeds from her gymnastics and trampolining. I can't wait to hear all about it. I've missed her so, so, so much. It is unreal. So I can't wait to be back with her and to hear everything that she's done today.
she is finally back with me. We are back together where we belong. Um, and we have some really exciting something to tell you. But first, I want to say that um, we had gone to feed the squirrels. And then there were no squirrels there. Um, there was one and he ran away. So we didn't feed the squirrels. So we are back home and that is all we're going to do for today. Because it's so hot. Um, but Dawn Louise is going to do some painting in a minute. But anyway, let her tell you what she got up to at gymnastics. So at my gymnastics club, um, we did like a, pa a parachute um, trampoline in the afternoon. And it's so cool because when he jumps, the parachute goes up as well that's pretty cool and we did that um in the afternoon in the morning we did some stretches we played um we played a game where it was it's called it's called toilet <laughs> and basically you have to run around um, and there has to be some saggers. Um, and if you get tagged whilst you're running, you have to go like that and someone has to flush you. So you're in. Um, I know it sounds really funny if you're laughing. Uh, um, and we played like another game was like stuck in the mud. And we had to run around with um with a little like um tail. We the like we did some trampoline and then in the morning and in the afternoon. So you're doing like jump sit things? Yeah, we did um tuck in throw times, sit down three times. Um, straddles three times, um, three, so three, we did it like nine times each, I mean three times each, but three, add three, six, add another three, it's nine. So then, at the end of the day, she was there from nine to four, so it was a long day, and I'm so proud of her for being able to do the whole day like that. That is quite oh, amazing yeah. with her heart and everything. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, at the end, when I went to pick her up, the lead instructor dude came over, and he was like, she's been amazing. She was really, really um, self-aware, like you said, and any time that she needed a break, she sat down for a couple of minutes, got herself some water, and then was right back at it. Um, she was no trouble. She was absolutely amazing, and she worked really, really hard. And then, I turned back round, and see that Dawn Louise got a medal! I'm second. I'm so proud of her. There was like I'm 30, second. There was like 20 or 30 kids there. I'm and right. I turned around and my little munchkin here, which doesn't even do gymnastics lessons, got a medal. I'm so <laughs> proud of her. I was even so, so guys, proud. Even guys, I'm... I'm second. She's never got a medal for anything before. It was so good and I'm so, so proud of her. Also, if you're second, you get a gold. Uh, a silver. Yeah, but I'm so so proud of her, and you're proud of yourself. I love yourself, silver right? too. Yeah, um, I'm so so proud of her for this getting is that. how long it is. And um, unfortunately, obviously, because I missed it, because I was speaking to the guy. Um, he said, oh, sorry, you were leaning my hair. Right. Um, so when I was speaking to the guy, um, I went up to one of the lady instructors and I was like, hi, I'm really sorry. I actually missed her getting given the medal because I was speaking to the other instructor. Could you just tell me what she was given it for? And they went, oh, oh my God, honestly, she's been amazing. Like every, we, every teacher has been talking about her all day, about yeah. how lovely she is. And she's just been working so hard. She's never given up. She's been willing to try everything. She's putting her hand up to demonstrate things that she could do like cartwheels and stuff, I'm guessing. Was it like cartwheels? Mm. And, um, yeah, like, she was just... They like, helped me with handstands. Yeah. She did a handstand. Yeah. But, like, every, she was willing to try everything. She was the first one to want to give something a go, first one to put her hand up, and just really willing to learn, um, which I'm very proud of, obviously. And um, and then as we left, one, one of the ladies grabbed her arm, and they were like, can I take her home? And I was like, mm, no, because I've missed her too much. I have missed her so much, but I'm so I proud of her. Good. How do you feel having your first ever medal? Proud, and I should be because guess what, guys? 
when I always got a drink, like I, I asked, can I get a drink please? And they went, yeah, every time. And also, guess what? Every single um, teacher that was at the gymnastics um, and trampoline place, they were saying, I think Dawn should get a medal. I think Dawn should get a medal. Dawn, Dawn, Dawn. Uh, they, I think every single one of them said, Dawn noise, Dawn noise, Dawn noise. There. Was there like, do people have to like put their hands up for who they thought could get the medal then? How, do, were you there when they were choosing? No. Or did you afterwards when we spoke, both spoke to them? Um, no, Luke, we have to earn it. Oh, you definitely did. Didn't yeah, you? but um, basically if we don't, if we get told off more than once, then we won't get a medal. But you're a good girl, huh? But I never got told off. No. So I was like, I get a medal, guys. I'm so, so proud my, of her. My very first one. I'm so proud of her. I never got a medal. Before. I was so scared all day about how she was doing because she's never done anything this vigorous exercise-wise for this long. This was a really, really big moment for her as a heart warrior, big for me as a heart mum. Yes, it was a big opportunity. And I'm so, so proud of her. And I'm really glad that they saw how hard she was working too because they'd never met her before. And uh, she has booked in to go again. We won't say when because obviously these are going up every day. So we want to protect, you know, Dawn's safety and her privacy. Um, but she will be going again. I'm really excited yeah, to see what see happens. Yeah, you'll see in a future vlog, yeah. In a future. Okay, thank you everybody. So I did not want to put a down on this vlog because it's been such an amazing day and it's been so wonderful to see Dawn Louise really accomplished something big today and to get rewarded for that as well um really was amazing but there is something that i do feel like i need to talk about because this channel was created to raise awareness for hypoplastic left heart syndrome which she has if you don't know um and hope but awareness is definitely our biggest driving force behind the channel because one in 100 um children will be affected by a congenital heart defect but a lot of families have never heard of them so i kind of feel like this is important to go with the awareness side of things as well so even though dawn always had an absolutely amazing time at gymnastics she did stop in her like excitement telling me what she'd done today to say that um the girls that she'd been playing with kept asking if she had lipstick on um, this is definitely a comment we've had over the years um and thankfully when it comes from a child it doesn't upset dawn always quite as much because children are definitely just curious and they asked really politely and even she said they were really nice about it they still played with me and everything whereas when she's been asked questions if you've seen any of our previous vlogs you'll know that when she gets asked it by adults they're a lot more jokey they're a lot more harmful to her self-esteem but regardless of that it does still kind of you know it's gonna upset you when someone's picking out the one thing that makes you different um obviously unless she's wearing um something that's rather low cut um people aren't going to see her scars so they aren't going to know that she is in fact a child um, with a lifelong illness or a heart condition but she does have purple lips um the technical term is called cyanosis and this is due to the fact that she has a lower oxygen range than most people a healthy child or adult would be 95 to 100 and on the way sits at 75 to 85 which is quite a fair bit lower um and with activity and the weather changes it will get darker and it does kind of look like lipstick if you've never seen a child with cyanosis before um so yeah i just wanted to come on here quickly and just to say to people that um if you have a child or if you're a teacher maybe or anything like that take five ten minutes out of your day to look up cyanosis with your children and to teach them about it because then not only will you be helping children like mine with a chronic illness um hopefully not have to deal with these questions one day but you'll be helping the child to learn signs of when to get help for other people because if one of their peers at school or a family member was to turn purple um, and have cyanosis um it would be a sign of them maybe possibly choking maybe having another kind of breathing issue because it is a sign of lower stats so like um if they're asthmatic or anything like that if they choked on anything they would then have cyanosis so it's very important for children i think at least um to be aware of signs like that so that they can call for help um so do please if you can go look up cyanosis with your family and just get a little bit of awareness out there not just for us but for other people around the world too who suffer with chronic illnesses like dawn louise thank you so today I'm gonna do a art project for home and it's something my mum really wish and I wish. Um, 
I'm gonna draw a picture of us in a car. With paint. And I've got Aww. my pen. Are you, are you drawing my blue camper van dream? Yeah. Oh, I love you. You're and fantastic. also, I'm using uh, my new I love the jars as well. And the also, they look cute in the little jars. Mm -hmm. And, and I've we, got we new saved, paint. What were these from? I can't remember what these were. I think these are from our electric toothbrush heads, but we're going to use those for her to use as uh, paint palettes. Yeah. But yeah. I've, All right, got I'll some blue, I've got some red, I've got some yellow, I've got some. I mean, gold. I think that's like a goldy yellow, isn't it? Yeah, goldy yellow. This is like a mustard orange. yellow. What's it called? And then. Doesn't say helpful. <laughs> um, and then I've got a neon. Neon, not neon. Neon. <gasps> Me on um, just means. I've bright. got a yellow one. And uh, let's get ready. The food shopping for school next year. Well, not so much for you to use in school, but for when you choose at home and you like doing your homework and stuff and your art projects. Ooh, That's for practicing your awesome writing. Your writing's amazing now, isn't it? Oh yeah. <gasps> What are these for? Highlighters. Um, you can use them for like the headers on your homework. I think I'll use To like use separate these. things. I think pink and green can be for um, if I've got anything right. Yeah, good idea. And then those can be like for my lines if I need to practice if I got any wrong. Yeah, that's true. These are nice and handy, thanks. I've got my own glue, yeah. thank you. You're welcome, we're having a hug now. We're having Ooh. a hug over her getting glue. <laughs> No, I always really needed glue. Oh my god, I used to have these, but I broke it. Yeah, it's one of those ones that extend, so that'd be really great for home. I remember. Thanks. Oh. Oh my god. No. Cosmo and Wanda think they're slick. <laughs> And that's helped you because you, you, I know you're working towards your um, writing license, aren't you? I thought you would have got it to be honest. Your writing's amazing, but yeah, they'll help you to practice, won't they? So yeah, they're all for. Yeah, I'm writing pants. Yeah, they're your favourite to write in. Yeah. You get to write these. Thanks, Mum, for every single scarf. That's all from us today, and we will catch you tomorrow. Bye. You know that life is full of surprises You better realize, better realize